baking video. That's right, today we're making avalanche cookies and instead of doing like a, they're kind of like Rice Krispie treats, but instead we're doing peanut butter, white chocolate, and marshmallows and we put a little semi-sweet chocolates on top. So let's get to it. Real quick though, before we start, I know everyone loves to bake along with us. This recipe will be available on twoinazoo.com. When you get there, you'll see that Melanie has a page and the little drop down at the top. Go to that page, there's all sorts of recipes. Well, not all sorts, but a few recipes that we put out there from uh, videos that we've done on this channel and on Two in a Zoo before. And uh, you can uh, make these on your own and enjoy them. It's kind of like 4D vlogging, 4D YouTube. You can taste along. Uh, in fact, maybe you want to go do that and watch this video <laughs> later and then compare how you did against how we did. And we'll have our own baking championship. How does that sound? That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so uh, if you're going to go that route, pause here and come back. But if not, then just enjoy. So the first thing we do is get a double boiler. And unfortunately, I don't have a double boiler, so we're makeshifting. I have a metal bowl and a metal pot, and that's our my double boiler. And we're gonna actually gonna put the white chocolate chips in there. Yeah, we're gonna slowly melt down the white chocolate chips. And by the way, you have boiling water in the, bo in the bottom. The, and the trick is you have to keep them moving, right? You can't just right. let your chocolate sit and slowly melt. Right. You have to keep it stirring. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir these and you gotta keep them moving. They will slowly, slowly melt. You don't want them to melt too fast. You don't want them to burn. If they melt too fast, it probably means the heat's up too high and your white chocolate will burn, but you'll see it start to melt like that and it begins to melt together. And uh, once it gets slightly melted, we will add in the peanut butter. It looks like um, marshmallows. Oh yeah, it kind of does begin to look like, oh, oh, see how it really is starting to melt there. Look at that. Yes, there we go. Okay, official vote. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. What's dark. your favorite thing? Dark? Dark. Dark? White. White? White. White? White. White? I think I'm milk chocolate. Am I the only milk chocolate? I don't know. This guy was been, 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 been uh, what's it called? Like hiding the morsels and he didn't have a bag. <gasps> don't you eat the morsels? You he can't was. eat the morsels. Okay, we're almost there, almost to the point where we're going to Add the peanut butter. Mom, you got the peanut butter? Yep, it's a heaping cup. A heaping cup of peanut butter. So right now, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like a nutter butter. Mm. A fluffer nutter, that's what it is, a fluffer, fluffer nutter. nutter. I, I used a, to eat those A fluffer there. nutter has marshmallow and peanut butter, right? Yep, marshmallow Love cream and butter. peanut butter, it's amazing. No. The peanut butter and the white chocolate are in there and we're gonna add Rice Krispies and marshmallows. But you don't want the marshmallows to melt. Right. Right? Right. You don't. It's not like it's not like Rice Krispies where the marshmallow melts. So now that this is done, you take it off the heat so this doesn't uh, continue to get hotter and hotter because when you put your marshmallows and stuff in here, you don't want your marshmallows to melt. Now that this is ready to go, it just makes like the batter that you put everything in. And by the way, these are no bake. We totally forgot to mention, this is a no bake recipe. That's my favorite. Once you um, get it nice and melted, which by the way, we can probably turn the heat, we'll turn the heat off. Um, when we add everything else, you start to stir it up and it begins to slowly dry out. Before it dries out, you want to get like get a, uh, um, uh, um, a melon baller or an ice cream scoop or something and start to scoop out little clumps that make your cookies. Oh, so that's good. probably the best part of this recipe is that it's no bake, very quick. Hi. Hello. All right. So Eat we're your gonna hand. Do... Eating her hand as usual. Okay. So Dad's gonna take the take it off the heat, and we're gonna add Rice Krispies. Uh, so Katie, you're gonna do the Rice Krispies. Okay, you're gonna dump the Rice Krispies in and I will stir. Go slow. Go a little bit at a time. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. It's the same concept as when you do a Rice Krispie treat. And then you'll mix, you'll mix, Zoo Family mix a little bit. Okay, Katie, next. That looks like oatmeal. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> a little more, a little more. Okay, now wait, wait. And then we'll stir a little bit more. Okay, Zoo Family, you can see how we're looking here. Okay, and then we're stirring from the bottom to get all the gooeyness from the bottom. You don't want any leftovers down there. Caleb, now dump it all, buddy. All of it. Whoosh. Okay, and then Zoo Family, watch Ooh. this. This is beautiful. I remember now. I remember the By the way, these are super sweet. They <laughs> are. I forgot that. about that. These are sickening sweet. They you can't are. Eat you can't a lot of them. This is the kind of thing, if you are the type of person who loves just a little something sweet, one of these goes a long way in satisfying a sweet tooth. Well, I would put dark chocolate morsels if you didn't like if you didn't like milk chocolate. Honestly, so like, dark dark chocolate would be good on this. Yeah. It would help balance it. That might be what it's missing, honestly. So this is what we love using. It's really convenient. You scoop something out, you leave it on the thing, and it dries. 
And then what, what we're gonna do is Logan, Logie Bear is gonna finish our last stage, which is to take the semi-sweet little morsels and you take a few of them and you just sprinkle them over the top of your cookies. Yeah. We'll like show you sprinkle. both steps. Thanks to COVID, they didn't have the mini, mini ones. We oh. have normal size. Oh, so, great. Whatever. The best thing to do is actually to freeze them. I think the actual recipe will tell you to freeze them. And we have a, uh, a big freezer, a flat freezer in our garage. So we, we put them on here and we go literally lay them in the freezer. Okay, last but not least, Logan's putting two or three little morsels on each one. If you get the little mini morsels, they stick. But the big ones, you actually have to push them on. So Logan's gonna push them on to each one. One or two per. Daisy, who's got you? Who's got you? Does sissy have you? Does sissy have you? Are you gonna get the camera? Don't touch the camera! Okay, Zoo family, they're going to the freezer. We'll see you in a little bit. And just like that, they're done. They're probably overly done. Everyone wanna grab one? Oh, they're overly done. Mmm, no, they're good. They're very good, Zoo family. This is how they look. They don't shimmer like they did before. They're nice and frozen. And then we just put them in a Ziploc bag, and they're uh, storable. What you think, guys? Came out good? How would you rate these on a scale of one to five? Five, 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 ten, and five. Very good. Okay, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed. If you were baking along with us, you're tasting your product just as we're tasting ours. It is delicious, came out just the way we like it. We're gonna call it quits for now. We hope you appreciated baking with us. If you're gonna try it later, let us know how yours turns out. Let us know down in the comments. We hope you appreciated baking with us. Remember to check out tunazoo.com for the uh, specifics on the uh, amounts for all of the ingredients. That's it for now, Zoo family. We'll see you later. Bye.